Hi, I'm WBZ meteorologist Sarah Robleski. Cold and bright for our Wednesday as we've got high pressure in control. That means winds are a little bit lighter than they were yesterday, but as they turn onshore across parts of the southeastern areas of the state, could see some clouds develop and even a few snowflakes. So temperatures today starting off in the teens and 20s. Will only climb into the 30s, about 10 degrees below the average. And again, that onshore wind out of the northeast may allow for a few ocean effect snow showers for parts of the south shore. The Cape and Islands shouldn't amount to much less than an inch, if that. In fact, it will be very hit or miss. The rest of us seeing dry conditions with some clouds increasing, but tonight those clouds decrease and temperatures fall back into the 20s, teens through the interior. And tomorrow, well, temperatures will be, I guess, the mildest, but still below average, close to 40 degrees with some sunshine to start, but then the Clouds increase ahead of another front that will bring even colder air into the region. So, high pressure in control, watching for again some clouds as well as the risk of those scattered snow showers. Low pressure to our south pushes away. And then Thursday, you're seeing the sunshine out there, but there's that front to the west. Scattered snow showers will begin to dissipate as they push southeastward through the region. So, hit or miss chances. Thursday night into Friday, most of us stay dry, but it turns blustery and cold for your Friday and even colder weather for the weekend, starting off in the teens. Highs below freezing on Saturday and Sunday, we're looking at the mid 30s. Also, watching a mid or early week storm threat, but looks as though right now, as we take a look at that Sunday forecast, high pressure keeps the system suppressed to the south. That means we'll be mainly dry, but as this storm system continues to evolve and pushes northeastward, we'll have to see just how close it gets late Monday into Tuesday. But right now, I'm keeping that seven day forecast on the drier side, but still unseasonably cold. Look at that temperatures stuck in the 30s through the weekend and into early next week.